and its name is Steve. <laughs> I'm sure they all look the same. I'm not calling it Maggie like the name Maggie. That's Maggie short for magpie. Hello. How are they supposed to differentiate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks so funny with its mouth open. It's mouth <laughs> breather. Oh, hello. You're coming right close. You're not getting our food. Did you smell our food? Do it. Ducks are out here enjoying this weather. Here they are. Hey, duckos. <laughs> run, run, duckies, run. There's this sign here that amuses me on the way down back to our camp. Giant wombats. The size of horses. This is why you gotta drive with care. This is the first wildlife I've seen out here aside from ducks. Hello, Wallaby. Finger in front. Hello. Oh, and there's our friend, friends, the ducks. And back to the wallaby. There we go. <coughs> Hello. The wallaby's looking at me. Was. <laughs> so cute. You're so cute. So we came down to the creek. We're going to be rinsing our feet. And look what Alexis spotted. Check it out. I, it looks sort of like a huntsman, but maybe it's not. Um, it obviously doesn't mind the water. Yeah. Freaky <laughs> doke. You stay there, buddy. Oh, it's gone underneath. Look, it's gone underneath the water. I don't know if you can see it there. I can't see what I'm pointing at because the sun's reflecting on my screen. There it is. It looks massive from that angle. But it's under the water. Whoa. Weird and freaky. So it's definitely not a huntsman because it's got very different markings than a huntsman does. It climbed out of the water again. It was just on the side of the rock. And then it climbed back up and um, it was cleaning itself a moment ago. 
well, I don't know if it was cleaning itself. It was moving its, um, its front, what, what are they, mandibles? I have no idea. I'm not that close to it. I've zoomed in. That's why it's a bit wobbly. Um, and it was moving sort of maybe one or two of its legs as well. So I wondered if maybe it was getting the water off itself. Maybe it's hot. And that's how it cools down. Um, you know, well, that's why we're at the creek, sort of. Actually, we're going to wash our feet, but, you know, it's nice weather for cooling down in the creek as well. Can you hear the cicadas? This is like medium volume cicada. They're not like fully loud yet, but they're so loud here. They come in waves during the day, it seems, and then at night again. So loud that my ears were kind of ringing, like full on. Do they have gender? I'm really quite close up. It's not remotely that big. Weird, wormy, sluggy thing. It's very small. This is under where Riley's tent was for two weeks. It's like a whole zoo of insects. Oh, I've got stuff in my mouth. Oh, hey, butterfly over there as well. So, yeah, these one of these, or oh, two, two of these little, uh, sorry, pointing in the wrong direction. Two of these little um, worms with a white stripe across their back. Uh, what else we got? There's a big cockroach thing crawling away here. Check it out. Check that out. It's quite large. Excuse me, I just had a coke and burp. And, well, all the other things are on top. There you go, I think that's it for now. Oh, there was another centipede around here somewhere, but I can't see it anymore. But anyway, there we go. That's that cockroach is quite impressive and somewhat gross. Less. Oh, it's it's crawling on top of a centipede. Look, the centipede's going. Ah, get off me! You're disgusting. Um, here's a centipede that I haven't seen before while we've been here. Hmm. Can you see the cockroach there, Riley? Yeah, Look at yeah it. I can. It's huge. Look at the amount of dirt it's moving. Yeah. The ones that don't live in houses are actually a lot cleaner. And, and also they're, a lot, they're a lot bigger. Right. So many. That's why the other ones stay in houses, because birds can't get in there. Oh, I see. There you go. And this caterpillar is quite interesting, or centipede, whatever it is. And there's another little one here. I don't know if that's alive. There's a little white one around here before. Oh, look, there's another black one here. <laughs> it's like a zoo under his tent. It's Gosh. orange one, it's very cool. Which Alexis, one? have you seen the, the orange one? Oh, the one Alexis, I was just Alexis, have you seen the cockroach here? Look at yeah, it. Yeah, she saw the cockroach. Yeah. Big. It's making a house under there. Oh, there's another two here. Look at that. This is all under where Riley's tent was for, yeah. let's say, two weeks. Check out this thing that was underneath Riley's tent. This is a pan and brush for size comparison. You know, just like a normal pan and brush. So, you know, it's not tiny. Looks like some kind of tiger creature. Leopard? Leopard, mm -hmm. that's what I meant, yeah. Oh. Looks like a leopard. Kind of looks hairy too. I don't think it is, but so you can see its face. A what? I guess it's some sort of slug, yeah. Ooh. There you go, slug. You might need to encourage it a bit. Dig it underneath it gently. Oh, gross. Oh, how slimy is it? Oh, slimy. Go on, slug. There's like strands of slime on the stick. Oh, that's gross. Go, slug. Be free. Oh, you dropped it. You fell. 
Here it is. Here's another bit of bark if you need to. There you go. Right at the base of the tree or in the bushes. Butterflies' wings are a bit mangled. Look at it. It's still managing to flap around. Oops. That's amazing. Mm -hmm.